Grace is something you don't deserve. Something is, 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 is given to you from God. You're undeserving of it. But because in His love, because God loves the world, not just the Jews like you mentioned earlier. John 3.16, that's John 3.36. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, the whole world, even the non-Jews, even you guys, yes, yes. that He sent His Son, that whoever believes in the Son should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the grace of God. But you, as a Muslim, so you have to do is, good things. What is everlasting? So as, I'll show as, you. As humans, I'll we, show you. eventually we will, we will die. Right? Like yeah. this is, this is, everyone is going to the ground. But is everlasting means heaven? I'll does show it, you what everlasting mean? means okay. right now. So John 17, Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you. As you have given him authority over all flesh, so the Father has given the Son authority over everyone. Yeah, the Jesus in the Bible says that I, 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 I heal the blind uh, like through the will of God. Mm -hmm. I heal the wounds through the will of God. Like, uh, I, I, I don't remember it clearly, but... Okay, uh, we, we can go there in a minute. I yeah. just want to read this verse here. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. Okay. And this is eternal life. So pay attention to this. This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, the Father, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Now, Muslims in Zakir Naik, Ahmadidat, all these Muslims say, oh, there it is, see? Only the Father, hold on. Only the Father is the true God. Jesus is not God, but Jesus says what? He says, this is eternal life. That what? There's two things that they may know you, the Father, the true God, and Jesus Christ. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, that's not eternal life. In order to have everlasting life, you must know that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So this is shirk, this is sharik. This is, he's, he's literally partnering himself with God. Okay. I don't think you've heard this interpretation before, have you? Not really. Okay, because okay. what you hear from the da'wah script is there it is. That's the verse. Yeah. The Father is the true God. Jesus is not. Jesus is not saying I'm not God. There's plenty of other places. He says he's God, and the Bible says that he's God. But here, the condition is you, you need to know God, the Father, and you need to know the Son. And the word in the Greek is Kai. Oh, you should know this Kai. K. 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 Okay, there you go. K. Man, we should be friends because my Greek sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can you just Google uh, oh, Google translation and, and hear the process. Or I can just be your friend. Why not? What's your name, sorry? Hossein. What's Hussein. your name? Hossein. Muthanna. Muthanna? Okay, Muthanna. nice to meet you. It's a city You're very kind, man. Very thank patient. Thank you, thank you, man. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to show you that because he says this is eternal life. And what, what's. That's John 17, yeah, verse but what, 3. What, 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 but he continues. So, yeah. yeah, so he says, I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. Look at this. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Oof. Before That's, the world was. Oof. Yeah. He he's making yeah, a statement this is, there. This is this is what uh, what most most preachers like. This is the the most common verse that most preachers use in order to yeah yeah I, powerful, I, know, I know that verse I know that verse. okay because yeah. a lot of Muslims apologists they only quote verse 3 yeah half of it and they stop Basically, right there yeah. but if you continue he says glorify me you know if you read Isaiah Yahweh does not share his glory with anyone else he says I alone am God I alone I have the glory but Jesus here says glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before Why? the world was my, my, my thing is my, my concern is, like, why is it different the New Testament from the Old Testament? Like, there is a lot of difference. So as you as you just said, mm -hmm. Yahweh used to glorify only Himself, but in the Bible it says it's uh, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God. I'll show you a verse. Father. So it's not different. It's the better word to describe it is it's a fulfillment of the Old Testament. So if you go to the Old Testament. The book of Amos. Amos is a small book. Um, one second. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord God 
does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. So God doesn't do something. So the secret means like what? what the things want? of God, yeah. the, the hidden okay. things of God, the secrets of God. He doesn't just do something without first uh, revealing it to, to his prophets. servants, the prophets. So the Old Testament, throughout the Old Testament, you read about the suffering servant, the Messiah, the Messiah. Yeah. He's going to come. He's going to suffer, take anguish upon himself. If you read the Old Testament, that's the picture we have of the Messiah. That he's going to die for the transgressions of the world. So when Christ came, he fulfilled those Old Testament prophecies. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you mean is like when, when Moses came, he, he, he had the prophecy that someone after him would come. Yeah, exactly. Which, Even which Moses is, spoke about yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Deuteronomy 18. Yeah. Yeah. Now Muhammad. Well, he's the last. No, after Muhammad came many other so-called prophets. No, no. Who are they? Exactly. Are they? So, so, a Jewish Christian, let's say Peter, Paul, okay. you know, John, the early church, at that time, they'll say, who, who is Muhammad? 600 years later, 7th century in Arabia, who is he? So same, same statement you just made, they can say the same. Right, but those prophets who came after Muhammad, mm -hmm. did they preach the same things that Muhammad, Jesus, uh, Abraham, Moses, uh, um, Noah, Adam, did, are they preaching the same thing? No. no. They didn't preach. No, they didn't, no, exactly. exactly. So Muhammad, when so he came... So that's why, like, we cannot say it's a new religion. When Muhammad came, he didn't preach the same things as John the Baptist. He didn't preach the same things as, you know, Jeremiah. He didn't preach the same things as Peter. You see what I'm saying? I see. P Peter, those are our are, 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 are Bibles also, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Peter was a follower, a direct, immediate follower of Christ. Yes. Anyhow. Yeah, uh, uh, Mo what's your name? Mothanna. Mothanna, okay. Hussein. Mothanna, nice Hussein. talking to you, yeah, man. you too, man. Uh, I, I, will, I will read and think about it because the thing is that made me, it, this might sound silly, but this is over 10 years ago, I was, I was a little young. Yeah. The thing that made me go into all this stuff, I was like, man, I didn't, I, 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 nobody taught me about anything. Like, yeah. We just learned what we learned in school and about religion. I said, like, man. Christians are lucky. <laughs> Why? They can drink, see, see, do whatever they want. As as a child, I was like yeah. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I see. You know, at this the earliest stage of of your life, you are like energetic and yeah. you know. Yeah. I don't want to say some bad words. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I understand what you're saying. So, uh, I used to so believe I the start, same thing. I started like reading. Yeah. And I was like, okay, whatever. All this yeah. is a sin. So nobody's doing what they should be. So okay. All what our sins is the same as your sins, so I uh, I can see like there is a lot of similarities in order to like for the sin and so I, yeah. so I said okay yeah they they well, are not they are not allowed they just do it mm. this is like th at that time that's what right, I was right, thinking yeah. but so when I grew up I started like understanding a little bit yeah more. yeah no that's yeah. a misconception a lot of Muslims have they think Christians can go drink can go party can go exactly, have sex because because ninety nine let's say ninety percent of them do that right right yeah. Yeah. Can I show you one verse before you guys go? Yeah, of course. Okay, this is the New Testament, Romans chapter 6. Romans 6. Roman. I'm going to read this little chunk go over ahead. here, okay? It says, What then shall I like we. like how you can write, uh, read those small little things. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Soon I'm going to have to get a bigger Bible. It's so yeah. tiny. So it says, What then shall we sin? Shall we sin because we are not under law but under grace? Remember grace? Yeah. So God's giving you this free gift called grace. Yeah. Let's go sin, let's go do whatever go we want. Problem, yeah. Okay, so Paul says, certainly not. This is like 100% not. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Do you not know that to whom you present yourself slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey. So let's say you obey pornography, you're a slave to pornography. If you obey alcoholism, you're a you're slave, slave to, to alcoholism. alcoholism. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so then... We continue to read. It says, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. Exactly. But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you were delivered. Let me skip a few verses. I don't want to keep you too long. So here it says, for when you were slaves of sin, 
you were free in regard to righteousness. So when you were a slave to sin, you weren't you weren't doing anything righteous. You were free from righteousness. Yeah. Because you were in sin. What fruit did you have then? In the things of which you are now ashamed, for the end of those things is death. So the end of sin is death. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. In order so basically it means in order to make up for it, there is like the penalty of death. Yeah, the punishment. The punishment is death. Yeah. And we're all gonna die. Yeah. That's the bad news. Like he sinned, you you've sinned, I've sinned. Oh of course. But let's keep reading. Um but now having been set free from sin and having become slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness and, and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay, so basically, if you, if you back up from, what, from you, the sins and you worship God truly, you might get the grace. Not might. Probably. Not you might. will get the grace. Let's go back. Before yeah. you even get that grace, you have to understand what Christ did on the cross, on the Salib, 2,000 years ago. He fulfilled Isaiah 53. See on that, over there it says Isaiah 53, 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He died for our sins, rose from the dead, saves from sin and hell, and will return to us today. So this is Isaiah 53. I'll read verse 5 for you. But he was wounded for our transgressions, our sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. This is, this is, this is 700 years this is, before this Jesus is, uh, was born. This is Isaiah. The Old Testament? Old Testament, yes. Okay. What it says? So it says here. He was wounded for our sin. Our, our transgressions. Our transgressions. Yeah. He was... He was bruised, bur bruised for our, our iniquities. Iniquities. Okay. So this was uh, this was for sin. What not for sin? Exactly. It was a prophecy. A of prophecy. Messiah. A prophecy. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Have you ever read this before? Um, like anything here in Isaiah 53? I never read about the Old Testament. Can I give you a but it's small, man. The font. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 if I like, we will see if it's too small. I, I, okay. I, I, will, I will not be able to read it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give you a full Bible, okay? Oh, cool. There's the Old Testament, New Testament. Alaikum <laughs> salam. I'm going to shop up somewhere. It's like I'm going to be. You're going to read all things? Read the whole thing. Read the whole thing. If you have a time. Bro, trust me. I don't read. You're not going to read that, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I like to watch. Take this as Gospel well. of John. Okay. Gospel of John. Okay. I, I, I wanted to know actually. I, I, I sometimes search on Gospel of Trust. So I, yeah. yeah. So basically, what you were saying about the sin. Mm -hmm. If you stop doing it, and in, in, in Islam we say toba. Toba. Yeah. Toba. Repent. So, repent. Yeah. You will get the grace. That's the, the summary. So basically. the difference is not to interrupt, but the difference is between yeah, Islam yeah. and. God in the Bible is with Toba in the Bible. There has to be Qurbani or sacrifice. Oh, there, there has all had a... always been like that. That's the only way that God forgave or oof, oof is for, forgive. But, the, but the, the sacrifice is already done. That's the thing. What you mean, right? So in the Old Testament, God commanded Moses and the Israelites to kill a lamb. Yeah. And the sh the blood of the lamb would forgive or, or atone their sins, and they did that as a shadow, as a as a foreshadow of the final sacrifice, okay, okay. which is who? Jesus. The Christ. Yeah. Exactly. So when Jesus came, he was the final sacrifice. But that's it. He was the sacrifice. So the, the repentance is, has to come with sacrifice. sacrifice. What's that? Why there, there should like God? He is the creator of all, like. The, 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 the creature who could create all of this, mm -hmm. all this perfection, which mm -hmm. is presented in, in the human body. Yeah. 
Why, why should be a sacrifice? Because the, the Bible like, says, if you read Ezekiel in the Old Testament, no, 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 no. But God why, says, why there should be a sacrifice? Like, it should, it should be the the most, the most merciful, the most uh, graceful. Like, why there should be, and why His Son? Yeah. So I'll explain this is, that. This is the thing that made me okay. Maybe believe, and I, I maybe I will change my mind, but probably I will not. I'll that made that. me I'll like the, uh, believe it's there is fallacies. That's what okay. So me hear me out, okay? Yeah. In Ezekiel, in the Old Testament, in Ezekiel, God says the soul that sins will die. So the soul that sins will die. The bad news is we've all sinned. Every single person here has sinned. So uh, okay. everyone's gonna die. So the soul that sins will die, and he who sins will bear his punishment. The punishment is death. And that's coming. And that's it. And the Qiyamah going to come. Judgment's yeah. going to come. Yeah. And then that's it. That's it. Your, your so place is Jahannam. Your place is the hellfire. <laughs> that's it. That's that's 100% what's going to happen if you die without the sacrifice of Christ. Why? In His Rahim, in His mercy, in His love, God sent the Messiah. He sent the Christ to die for you. So you would not die. As a substitute, He gave Himself up. Yes. Jesus said, greater love has no one than this than to lay down his life for his friend. So, I don't know you. I don't know no, you. Let's no, no, say... You mean lay down, which means like, in our... our and what we, we, we say, like, take a bullet for a friend. Exactly, exactly. So, if someone sh wanted to shoot him, I'm sure you would... Hopefully, you would take the bullet. Maybe not. Nah. Maybe, see? No. Nah. See? Nah. Maybe, someone else, maybe. Yeah. But him, no. He just said that if someone took a gun to shoot you, he would not take the bullet. He would not block the bullet. He would let you die. He just said that. My God. <laughs> he said that just now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't love you that much. But what I'm saying to him is Jesus <laughs> died for you so you would live. No. Says what's go to John 15 verse 13. So this guy he 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 he, he never read anything uh, for uh, any religion. So mm -hmm. he just heard and is like, what's the connection? <laughs> oh my! What's up? Oh yeah. John 16. John 15. Okay. The page verse 13. Page. And re translate him in, in Arabic. No, if you can. Uh, what, what, John. Oh. Uh, so just go to. Oh, this John. is John 1. Yeah. Yeah. John okay. 15 verse yeah. 16. I'm gonna ask him a question. Yes, yes, go ahead. This That's is John 15, right? right? John 15 verse 13. Just listen to this and then you can ask your okay. question. Okay. Verse what? Verse 13. 15, uh, so that's 13. 19. No, 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 you're there. Oh, here, oh, here, they are small. 13. Verse 13. 6, 9, 11. Greater love has listen, no one. Listen to this. Greater love has no one than this that someone lay down his life. For his friends. يعني ما في حب أكبر من إنه واحد يضحي بنفسه عشان صديقه. I don't love you. <laughs> so Jesus says. So the greatest love is like yeah, exactly. sacrifice. For There's no greater love than for someone to die for you. So Jesus is like is the greatest, the greatest basically because he died for the humanity. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's cool. That's nice. But he had a question though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Simple, yeah. uh, simple question. Okay. He, he, he is looking at the moment. Sure. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Just have a thing about something else. Oh, a simple question. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus died for his life. So, I'm going to say it. 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 <coughs> yeah. So go go home. Read the NG. You need to read this. Read the no no. You need it as well. Okay, but, you can give him a copy. But he, his English is not that good. I don't mind giving him the whole Bible. No, he can explain me. <laughs> okay, oh, there my, you go. okay. There you my go. English like not like my cousin. He know everything. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. No no. He's big good because he know about the religion. He know. Oh, your explain. English is good, man. No no. Yeah, but not like Here. my cousin. Even you know, I can't talk, but I can reading. Yeah. So it's better he can explain me. But okay. I just like so read the question. That's why I ask. He say like it's first time in my life I hear Jesus. He died like for 
a people or for a human. That's, it's the yeah, first time I hear. For everyone. For everyone. It's the first time I hear. Amen. Glory to God. That's good. That's good. So read the Gospel of John. Explain it to him. So he understands it. You understand it. Because I was there one time. I understood it. And by the grace of God, my whole life changed. But um, did you read the Quran? I have read the Quran. All of it? I have the Quran right here in my bag. Really? Yes, oh, I have it on my phone. I have the physical copy in my bag. But you don't, you don't believe in hadith? I'm not Muslim. I'm not Sunni. I don't even believe in the Quran. But I read the Quran so I can understand. You said 16 years ago you reverted to Christianity, yeah? Yeah. Um, how old were you? If you don't mind me No, asking. no, I don't mind. 21. I'm 37 right now. How old are you? No way! Yeah. You don't look like that at all, my friend. <laughs> I look older? I'm, 20, I'm, I'm turning 26. 26? Okay. No, you look like... Uh, honestly, I thought you were my age a little bit older. How old are you? 33. 33, okay. okay. Yeah, he looks 41. <laughs> no, no. All right, thank you, yeah, Hussein. Yeah, no, God bless you guys. God bless right, you. Baby. Ho yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you again maybe someday. Hopefully, let me give you my YouTube channel. Oh, Take so it. this will be in YouTube? Maybe. Oh, oh my, my God. Allah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that okay? You're going to be famous. I don't mind, man. Oh, you're going to be famous. I don't mind.